Listening Dog Media. This is Free Trade Hall, brought to you by Mike May Productions and Listening Dog Media, starring Will B, Sophie Simpson, Joanne Venet, and Steve Kane. Written by Paul Daly, produced and directed by Paul Ludden. Please subscribe to the Podplay wherever you get your podcasts. And if you could leave us a review, that would be much appreciated. Thanks. I always think McLaren in, in the Pistols, which I think is what punk was all about. Fuck this exhibition. Fuck everybody else, including Joe Strummer, who was a very nice man. But it was about the Pistols. It was about John. And I think McLaren wanted to create the Bay City Rollers of Outrage. Mm. He wanted to be a group that was number one, the biggest thing in the country, just because they were disgusting. And in fact, art, culture, society completely subverted Malcolm because the Pistols were correctly the most valuable thing in the world. Mum, can you lend us 50 pence? I need it for me ticket for tonight. Sex Pistols are playing in the free trade hall. 50 p- Do you think I'm made of money? But I need it for me ticket. Ticket? We haven't got money to waste on tickets. You know your dad's not working. Yeah, it's not my fault. No one's saying it is. But you know money's tight and the last thing we've got spare cash for is tickets. Only 50 pence. And so is a loaf, a pint of milk and some ham. That's our tea. But if I get a ticket, it's going to help us. How? I'll learn. Oh, so it's for something educational, is it? Sort of. What is it? It's a concert. Oh, nice. And who is it you say is playing? The Sex Pistols. Sounds like a porno. Is it Swedish? (laughs) Swedish porno? (laughs) My grandson's going to be a porn star. Oh, wait till I tell the girls down the bingo. I know we're hard up, but the shame of it. Shame of what? Ah, Derek wants to do porn. Oh, eh? Can anyone do it? Because I wouldn't mind giving it a go. It's not porn. They're a band. It's band. Blimey. Now you're talking, I definitely wouldn't mind giving it a go now. (laughs) You haven't got the knees for it. (laughs) And you'll have to put your teeth in. Or maybe you don't have to, and that's why it's banned. Oof, granny porn. You lot are weird. Ian on a doll does that to you, lad. What? Make you dream of granny porn? Ugh. The money's right. I'm up for it. Mother! How weird could it be? At the end of the day, it's only a little bit of slap and tickle. Mum, much as I like a bit of porn the same as the next band. Tommy! What? I'll not have porn in this house. Not even if your man can make a few bob out of it. No, and she's not. Why not? Mum, you're not doing porn. You can't stop me. Just heard her teeth. She won't go anywhere without them. Will you lot stop it? I'm traumatised here. You've got it all wrong. It's not... Porn. No, Paul. What's a sex pistol then? I wouldn't mind giving one of them a go. Mother, I heard that. Well, it's been a while. I'm sure you could find one of the old fellas down a club who wouldn't mind tickling your fancy. Will you stop encouraging her? She's too old to have anything tickled. Ooh, what a way to go. That's how I want to go on the job. I just wish you had a job to go on. Oh, please, can we... Stop it now. What? All this sex talk. Are you getting the flutters? No, I'm bloody not. Ooh, I am. Mother, please. Well, I can't help it. All this talk of a sex pistol. Oh, it reminds me. It's not an ah, it's a the. The sex pistols. What are they when they're at home? They're the future. Oh, future. We've got no future. Exactly. So why are you wasting your money? He's not. He's got none. He wants to waste yours. Oh, you'll be lucky. It's not a waste. And I'll pay you back. When? After we get a record deal. Oh, right, you're getting a record deal, are you? You'll have to get a band first. That's sorted. Me, Rusty and Tommy Bezzet. You, Fat Tommy and... Who's this rusty character? Frankie. Ginger Frankie? He's not called Frankie anymore. Since he's joined the band, he's changed his name to Rusty. <laughs> rusty? Yeah. Sounds cooler. What, what, then, then Ginger Binge? Who calls him that? His dad, mostly. Doesn't think he's his. Isn't he? 
Derek, you mustn't say anything. It's none of our business. It's all right. He's not ginger anymore. Why? What's he done? He's dyed it. It's like pastely pinky orange. It looks um, rusty coloured now. I had a ginger minge once. Mother! Dyed it. Wanted to surprise your dad. Oh, I don't mean your dad, Derek. I sure bloody hope not. No, your mum's dad, your granddad. Thought I'd spice things up a little. And what happened? Oh, nightmare. Left it on too long. First it shriveled everything up, then my hair fell out. And six months later, it gave me an STD. Six months later, it gave you an STD? How could that happen? That's what I thought. But as your granddad said, how else could it happen? <laughs> and the funniest thing was, your granddad caught it as well. But he was lovely about it. Some men would have been furious about something like that, but no, not your granddad. No, he just laughed it off and said it couldn't be helped. <laughs> I'll bet he couldn't. And what about Fat Tommy? Bex. Shouldn't that be Fat Bex? No, because he's losing the weight. When? Soon. He's going on a cut down. But when? When we sign a record deal and he's got some money. Why is he waiting? Duh. He loses the weight now and none of his clothes will fit him. So he has to get some money and then he can buy a new clobber. Then he can lose the weight. Oh, right. So that's how it's done. And here's me doing it the other way around. His old fella needs a few months about a job. He'd soon lose weight then. And what about you? What about me? Who are you going to be? Me? Yeah. I'm going to be Degsy Showbiz. <laughs> Degsy Showbiz. And who's he when he's at home? That's going to be my stage name. All oh, right, so... <laughs> Why that? It's a piss take. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And are you taking a piss out of? Society. All them boring old farts on telly. But don't you want to be on a telly? Yeah, but not like Max Bygraves or Jimmy Tarbuck. I won't mind their money. I like Max Bygraves. I'm a pink toothbrush, you're a blue toothbrush. Ignore her, she hasn't had a tablet. When we're on telly, we'll just be there to, like, take the piss out of everyone else. I want to tell you a story. What about? That's him. That's who? I want to tell you a story. That's him. Who? Him. Max Bygraves. It's what he says. I want to tell you a story. God, this is a madhouse. Please, has anyone got 50p I can borrow? Sing along a Max. Mares he totes and dowsy dotes and a little dancy ivy. Oh, my God. If I had 50 pence, I'd come with you. A kiddy will eat the ivy, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, I love Max Bygraves. Will he be on? Doubt it. Pity. I would have come with you. Ah, never mind. Maybe next time. Give him my love. Who? Max Bygraves and his sex pistols. Who are these bloody sex pistols? The pistols, I'm telling you, Dad, they're the future of rock and roll. They tell it how it is. Oh, what is? The state of this country. I don't need anyone to sing about how bad things are. I can tell you from experience how it is. If we are five more years of Thatcher, there will be anarchy in the UK, I'm telling you. You're right, Dad, and I want to be a part of it. Anarchy? I don't think so. What about the Queen? The Queen? <laughs> she won't stick around. If there's a sign of trouble, she'll be off on holiday in the sun. God save the Queen. She's responsible for all of this. This what? This fascist regime, Thatcher. You can't blame the Queen. Why not? I'd like to see how she manages if she had to live on the dole. See, this is why I've got to go. I need to be a part of it. That's why I need the 50 pence. So this band of yours, has it got a name? Yeah. Degsy and the Destroyers. <laughs> Degsy and the Destroyers. I'm Degsy. You don't say. And Vati and Ginger, are they in it too? Yeah, but they're boxed right. and rusty now. 
And have you got any songs? Loads. Any love songs? I like a good love song. No, man, not yet. Our songs are about like, smashing capitalism and getting Maggie out. Pity. You do well with a nice ballad. Maybe we'll write a love song for our second album. Matt Munro. What about him? He sang a good love song. Oh, he's got a lovely voice. Our songs are going to be angry because we are angry. We are the angry generation. Your granddad was always angry. Never got him anywhere. He's different. How? Because it is. We want a revolution, you know. Get Thatcher out and stuff. Then what? What? Then, when you've got Thatcher out, what then? Then, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. We get rid of all the rich people next. Let's see how they like being poor. And what about you and Degsy and the Destroyers? Me? Yeah. You get your record deal, you'll be rich then, you'll be one of them. No, we won't. Of course you will. So we are Sex Pistols, selling all them records, you'll be loaded. I'll just make sure we put all our money in one of them tax havens so no one can get at it. So you'll become one of them then, a capitalist? Look, if I've got money, it's mine. No one else is taking it. But that's why you want anarchy, isn't it? To get the money off the rich and give to the poor. The poor can piss off. I'm poor now. I've done my bit. I'm not going back. I think you need to think this through, son. Born free, as fast as the grass grows. Born free. What is she on? You all right, Mum? Matt Munro. What about him? Born free. Of course he was. No, the song. Born free. He sang it. From Russia with love. Oh, he sang that too. Lovely voice. Lovely man. Copy him. I'm not being Matt Munro. I'm not copying anyone. But what about your bloody sex pistols? You want to copy them? Well, they're different. Oh, cool. They can't sing. Can't sing? What good's that? It shows you don't have to be able to sing to be famous. So you can't sing then? Dad, kids don't need to sing anymore. You've just got to sound angry. That's what Johnny does. Who's Johnny? Johnny. Johnny Rotten, lead singer of the Sex Pistols. But doesn't he sing then? Not really. No need. He's always angry. Matt Munro never got angry. And look at him. Andy can sing. He's got a lovely voice. Born free, as fast as the grass grows. Thanks, Gran. I'll let John know. <laughs> See, Dad, that's another great thing about punk rock. What, that you don't need talent? Yeah. You don't just need the normal kind of talent. Like Matt Monroe. Exactly. But you do have to be different. Well, being famous and not having talent, that's different. Me and the lads, we know we're not going to be the next Beatles, but we could be as famous as them. No, I'll have to see you're going to do that. Easy. By not being them. Oh, you're wrecking my head now, son. That's the plan. We're just going to do mad stuff to get us noticed. And how's that going to make you famous like the Beatles? Where's the songs? Ah, you see, that's the beauty. Songs today, you only need to know, like, three chords. If you play them fast enough and loud enough, no one gives a fuck. And can you play three chords? Not yet. But Rusty can, and he's going to teach me tomorrow after we've been to the gig tonight. That's why I need the 50 pence. Oh, and to borrow your boots. Me footy boots? No, your hobnail boots. And granddad's braces, and some safety pins... And real cream. Is it a concert you're going to or a fancy dress? It's for the outfit. If I'm going to join the revolution, I need to get noticed. Hobnail boots on a night out, whatever next. (sighs) Derek, what are you doing? He's gone bloody mad. That was a good shirt with the bloody sleeves off. Relax, Mum. It was one of Grandad's old ones. I'll fix it now. Fix it? What do you mean fix it? It didn't need fixing before. Oh, my God, have you seen what he's doing? He's gone mad, he's gone bloody mad. 
Why are you using safety pins to, to, to fix the sleeve on a shirt that there was nothing wrong with? To make it fashionable. Since when has a ripped shirt held together with safety pins been fashionable? Since Sid Fisher started doing it. All these bloody names. Why can't they use the names they were born with? It's all part of the plan. Plan? What plan? To get attention, get people talking, start the revolution. And is it working? No. Not yet, but after tonight, everything's going to change. It's bollocks. The Sex Pistols, Dengzy and the Destroyers. It'll never last. You're making a fool of yourself. It's the future, Dad. The future of rock and roll, and I'm going to be a part of it. If you want in, you better get on the new wave punk rock bus now. No more selling out. Give us 70% then. 70% of what? Of your earnings. And what do I get for that? The 50 pence you wanted. (laughs) 75%. (laughs) You're having a laugh. If you're so confident you're going to be the new Beatles, then you're going to be loaded. We are. Well then, sign it over. Can we afford 50... Because I've got now. I've got 50 pence tucked away for a bet on Saturday. If he says he's going to be as big as he says he is, and it's money well spent. So what's it going to be, Degsy Showbiz? Am I going to put my money where your mouth is? Give it here. Whoa, 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 sunshine. Before I part with our hard-earned cash so you can go chasing your dream, you've got a contract to sign. Are you serious? Deadly. The question is, are you... Where do I sign? Here, sign this for now. I'll get my secretary to type up our contract later. You haven't got a secretary? What contract? I've got that one I got from when I was at the factory. I'll I'll use that. You can't use that. It's got the factory labels all over it. Nobody will ever notice. You'd better get your skates on. You'll be late. Blimey. Better get ready, ma'am. Can I use the telephone to call Rusty? Tell him I have a ticket. Oh, God, what if it's sold out? Gran, can I borrow one of Grandad's old overcoats? What do you want one of them for? It's bloody summer. And they'll all be too big. It doesn't matter. That's the punk fashion. Well, make sure you go out the back way, then. I don't want the neighbours to see you. You'll make a laughing stock of us. You know you've swindled him. Your own son, 75%. <laughs> Rock and roll swindle. It's not the first, and he definitely won't be the last. Could be the best 50 pence I'll ever spend. (laughs) God save the bloody queen. (laughs) Never mind that bollocks. When are we going to get some Matt Munro? Coming up, Gran. Coming up. Born free, as free as the wind blows. As free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart.